Hey everybody, here we have a Peltier junk can run on top of a power supply. This is a Micro ATX Best Tech power supply, model ATX 100-5. This power supply was made in 2000, so it's 11 years old, and it came out of an HP that was made in 2001. And I gave this power supply to my friend Tim years ago, and he has put this power supply through living you know what and basically what he did was he took a bunch of leads he didn't need off of it he wanted to make this a 12 volt supply for CB and stuff like that he has ran halogen lights a motorcycle headlight and a CB and stuff like that off of it all at the same time he has claimed to pull at least 20 amps off this power supply to the point where he's got it hot enough to the point where it was actually smoking a little bit. But this power supply refuses to die. Which by the way it's only rated for 2 amps on the 12 volt rail. In other words 24 watts. Here you can see the Peltier Junction by itself is pulling 6.33 amps out of it. When I first turned this thing on it was pulling around 7.2. Around I would say 85 to 90 watts out of it. Now remember, this power supply is only rated for 100 watts, and that's its overall maximum output. But as you see, we're putting out 6.29 amps out on this rail, which is rated for 2 amps. And so that means this power supply has earned its name as the Little Fighter. It refuses to die. You can pull a junk load of stuff off of this 12 volt rail and it, it just continues to go. Toughest little best tech I've ever seen. My friend Tim, he has really tortured it too. As a matter of fact, one time he had like two or three fans on top of it blowing air into it. And as you see, I'm torching it right now. It's being used to cool the hot side of this Peltier junction. Yeah, so the power supply is sucking air through here to cool itself using hot air from the Peltier. And the air coming out of this vent is quite warm. And up here it's nice and cool. Pulling 6.2 amps. That's a lot. That's, that's um, you know, more than three times what it's rated for on the 12 volt rail. It's kind of funny. 